awesome. Uh, that. Uh, so what do we do now? We're going to secure the scene so that nobody can contaminate our evidence, and then we're going to look for some... Clues! Clues! Yeah. The adults call it evidence. Oh. Awesome. Hey, uh, why don't you take some numbers and go number the evidence? Okay. Okay. I can do that. Thank you. Okay. Numbering some evidence. Yeah. Um, that's some... A lot of blood. It's probably important. Put that nice little one right there. And then, um, let me see, a bullet. That's also important. Got to put a number right there. Hey, this looks like some drugs. We should take it. Not, not yet. Not yet. Calm down. First, we need to take pictures. Oh, okay. Okay, I can do that. Honey, not of yourself. Gotta take pictures of the evidence. Okay? Okay, come over here. I'm gonna show you the first picture that we have to take. Alright? So, first we have to take an overview of the entire scene, alright? It needs to be at a 90 degree angle to a wall for depth perception, alright? Okay. Okay, so the second one we need to take is a mid range, okay? This one's closer, but it's not a close up. This uh -huh. gets us the evidence with the surrounding area. Okay? Alright. Okay, the last one you gotta get is a close-up. This is just of the specific piece of evidence. Okay? Sounds close-up. Alright. And then we wanna get a... I got this! I got this! Okay. okay. I can relax. It's not that exciting. So we take this, we put it down next to the piece of evidence. Uh -huh. And this is for... Um, so, like in court? Yeah. It's just so you can tell the size. Oh, okay. Okay. To scale. To scale. That's what the word is. Okay, so now that we're done with the pictures, I want you to look around and tell me what you see. Um, okay. I see blood. A lot of it. And it's, um, it's up on the wall. Okay. Like some spatter. And there's a bullet right there. That's okay. going to be important. And, um, you need to take notes. Oh, grab your notes. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, write down very detailed notes about where everything is. Okay. Sounds good. Blah, blah. Okay. Let me see what you got. That looks good. Okay. So, next step is to measure. We need to get measurements as to the location of each piece of evidence, and we need to measure the length of the scene uh, for our rough sketch. Why do we need it for a rough sketch? It's a rough sketch. It's so that we can, when we do our final sketch, it's to scale, okay? individually so as to not get anything mixed up and all that stuff and you seal it and package it and send it off to the lab wow you surprised me ha, ha, ha. okay if you're so smart why don't you tell me how to collect the bullet okay <sighs> okay cool so bullet this is what you gotta do I need my forceps you got forceps in here they're right in there okay cool do is you gotta get your forceps, make sure they're clean. You gotta pick them up with your forceps. That way, if there are any fingerprints on there, they are not your fingerprints. You have to coll collect each piece that you find and put it into a sealed manila envelope. Like, say, this one. Put it in, you put each bullet or piece of ammunition you find in separately, label each one separately. 
make sure you package it in such a way that it wouldn't be damaged as it moves around through the chain of custody. I can okay, help you with this that, one. no, I got no? this. Okay. okay. So each piece of evidence needs to be dated. You need to add the case number. It needs to be um, written who collected it, and there needs to be a description of it. This way, we know who has the piece of evidence at all times. We're good. Okay. Why don't you take care of the hair evidence as well? Okay. Okay, cool. So, hair. Nice, clean forceps. That's what you got to do. I need a druggist hold. You got a druggist hold? Look in the box. The box? So convenient. Okay, thing about hair. If it's attached to something, you want to bring that with you if you can. You want to make sure that you try and bend it as little as possible. Somebody if there are one. any uh, anything attached to the root of the hair, you want that to be as intact as possible as well. Look, lots of hair. Great. <laughs> After which, you put it into the druggist fold. Once you have it inside the druggist fold, you need to put inside another envelope. Okay, and once you have it inside your nice little druggist fold and in a separate envelope, which you have labeled properly, you then uh, send it off to the right person, right chain of evidence. It's pretty simple. Okay, Miss Intern, if you're so smart, what do you do with drugs? I, I don't know what to Can do I take with over this. from here? Um, um, if you want. Okay, thank yeah, you. go ahead. Okay. So, for drugs, you need your clean forceps and you need a pill box. All right, so what we do, can I have some space, please? Okay, you take a little bit of this and you put it in here. You're supposed to collect all of it. Okay, and then once you're done with that, you cap it. You need to put what, you got to correctly label it, and you have to put what type of drug it is. Well, you didn't completely ruin everything. Thank you. <laughs>